Welcome, all my beautiful and burgeoning minds out there, and welcome back for another 10 minutes of mind-blowing facts. Today we're going to dive into something truly fascinating, the dark side, and we're going to unravel the mysteries of everything dark and X. And no, I'm not talking about your ex who keeps texting you back. I'm talking about dark matter, dark energy, planet X, and more. So check out this epic simulation behind me. We have the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies, which are set to collide together in real life in about 4.5 billion years. It's a cosmic dance that's both beautiful and mysterious, much like the topics that we're going to explore today. In science, when something is labeled as dark or given an X, it just means we don't quite fully see or understand it yet. It's sort of like the universe's way of saying, keep guessing. So buckle up, things are really about to get interesting. First off, let's just talk about dark matter. Imagine you're at a concert, but instead of seeing the musicians, you only hear the music and feel the crowd's energy. You know the band is there, but they're hidden. That's dark matter. It makes up about 27% of the universe. We can't see it directly, but we know it's there because of the gravitational effects that it has on visible matter. So. Remember in Star Wars when Han Solo said, I've got a bad feeling about this? That's basically scientists trying to understand dark matter. It's like the Force, mysterious and unseen, but definitely making things happen. Next, let's blow up our understanding with dark energy. If dark matter is the invisible musician, dark energy is like the invisible sound system that's cranking up the volume. It's the force that's causing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. Dark energy makes up a whopping 68% of the universe, so it's kind of like the universe is on a cosmic treadmill that keeps speeding up. So let's imagine being on that treadmill, just speeding up every single minute. Yep, that's our universe. Thanks, dark energy. It's like the universe has a personal trainer that just won't quit. This rapid expansion could play a role in the cosmic collision that you see in the background. The Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies crashing together may be influenced by forces like dark energy. Now, let's talk about Planet X. No, not the 1950s B-movie where the aliens are coming to take over Earth. Planet X, or sometimes called Planet Nine, is a hypothetical planet in our solar system. It's like the Bigfoot of astronomy. Lots of sightings, but no real proof. Scientists think it might be out there because of weird gravitational effects on objects in the Kuiper Belt, which is just beyond Neptune. So every time you hear about Planet X, just imagine a bunch of scientists with magnifying glasses, like Sherlock Holmes just hunting for clues in the vastness of space. It's out there, maybe. And finally, let's, let's touch on the term dark in general. So in science, when something is labeled dark, it just means we don't know much about it yet. It's like the universe's way of saying, keep guessing. Dark matter, dark energy, the dark web. <laughs> okay, maybe not the dark web. I think we all know what that is. But the rest of those, they're all mysteries waiting to be solved. It's like watching a mystery movie where the villain is always just out of sight. Keeps things exciting and interesting. Oh, and you know, let's not forget dark flow. This one's a bit wild. So some scientists think there's a mysterious force pulling galaxies towards it, way beyond the observable universe. It's like the ultimate cosmic magnet. We have no idea what it is, but it's got some serious pull. So imagine a magnet so strong it can pull entire galaxies. Yep, dark flow is that cool and that mysterious. And speaking of mysterious pulls, have you heard about Nemesis? It's a hypothetical star that might be a companion to our sun. Some theories suggest it could be responsible for periodic mass extinctions on Earth by disturbing comets in the Oort cloud. It's kind of like the universe's own Grim Reaper. Picture it like a guy in a disaster movie, always lurking, ready to cause chaos. But don't worry, it's just hypothetical for now. And speaking of dark times, let's tie in the Dark Ages. No, not a new villain from the Marvel Universe. The Dark Ages refer to the early medieval period in Europe from about the 5th to 10th century, and it was a time marked by a relative scarcity of historical and cultural records. A lot of people just don't know what went on for large periods of time in large regions. 
and it's like the universe kind of hit the pause button on civilization for a bit. So think of it as if history was on a dimmer switch. It was still happening, but not as brightly illuminated. Despite the name, it wasn't all that dark. There were still plenty of advances and cool medieval shenanigans going on. Now, after all this, you may be wondering, what's the deal with scientists using dark and X all the time? Well, they're sort of interchangeable. Both terms are just placeholders for the unknown, like a giant cosmic fill in the blank. So when you hear dark matter or planet X, just think of them as the universe's way of saying, hey, there's more to discover here. And speaking of cosmic mysteries, remember the fifth element? The movie was full of unknowns, like the giant black orb of evil. Just like our dark and X mysteries, it kept everybody guessing and added a whole lot of excitement to the story. So there you have it, folks. The dark side of the universe and the enigmatic X have been explained. So remember, the universe is a big, weird place, and we're just scratching the surface of its secrets. If you enjoyed this atomic journey, hit the like button, subscribe, let me know in the comments what other mysteries you'd like to uncover. And of course, it's a young fledgling channel, so the only way I can get better is from your comments and suggestions. So feel free to leave a comment or send me an email. And until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground, and make sure you're learning something every day. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.